Hello and welcome once again to Kingdom Come Deliverance. I wonder how many more times I'm going to be saying that. I do feel like we're near the end now. Uh, so I wouldn't mind getting this whole game wrapped up before the 26th of April, which is when we started the channel and we started off with uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance. So we've got a few more weeks left yet. Uh, so on the last episode, we did the Rocketeer quest where we were tasked to get Conrad Kaiser, uh, an engineer who can help build the trebuchet. So we did all that. Done and dusted. So let's have a look at our quest log now. That was part of the siege kind of quest. It was one of our um, one of our objectives. Uh, so yeah, wait until the trebuchet is finished. So we have done that. So we got a few more things here. Talk to Captain Robard, ask around the camps, blah, blah, blah. Talk to the quartermaster, talk to Sir Divish, talk to Captain Bernard. Let's talk to Bernard, I guess. For no reason. Let's just do E first. Uh, Bernard, let's do it. So I hope you guys are all right. I'm feeling a little bit ropey. I've got to admit. I had my vaccine jab yesterday. And uh, I feel a bit ropey. I've had a few side effects. I've got a bit of a headache. I feel a bit monged out. Body's aching. Um, I should be in bed, I guess, or relaxing. But instead, I'm choosing to play this game. So you have to excuse me if now and again I just fall asleep. <laughs> so, anyway, I think, I think we are here. Let's talk to Sir Robot. He is like, hello, matey. Don't walk away from me, Sir Robot. Walk through my horse, that's it. How are you? I'm all right. Right, any problems with the men? How are the men holding up? They're a rabble. The out-of-towners are desperate to go home. And the locals, they've got nowhere else to go. So they're just generally complaining. Are they causing trouble? No trouble as such. It's true, I've caught a few of them asleep on their watch. There's nothing a couple of lashes of the whip can't cure. Well, there might be a simpler solution. Yeah. Whipping a man, simple enough. Less violent solution? Just give one of them a beating, the others will remember. When they forget, do it again. But then you'd have an injured soldier. It occurred to me a herbal potion might do the trick. I never heard of any wives' quackery helping troop morale. But Christ knows they could do with something to flush the booze out of them and keep their eyes open. Okay, so find out if some herbalists could brew up something to fend off sleep. Well, we have, um... Well, no, we, have, we can do a sleeping potion, don't we? All right, let's do that. So I just ask him, let's carry on asking him. Uh, so how, how are you doing, Bernard? How goes it, Sir Bernard? How goes it? We're sitting here under the castle and all day long there's folks hewing stones. My ears are ringing as if I've been struck on the head, which is just how I feel. I felt that way too since the night of the attack. That went horribly wrong. And even so, we were lucky. Could have gone much worse. Oh, yeah. So what do you think of Master Kaiser, our engineer of the trebuchet? What is your impression of Master Kaiser? Sir Hanush thinks he's insane. He's crazed as one of those dung-smeared fools reciting the New Testament backwards in the street. But what do you think? Sometimes I think a little craziness is no bad thing. Master Kaiser's seen and lived through a lot in his time in foreign lands. And those rockets he was talking about. It all sounds like the babbling of a madman. Maybe, but I'd like to see them yeah. shooting off, screaming through the sky. I think like that'd be quite a good sight, quite a good cutscene. I'm sure, they'd be a sight to behold. Okay, so all right, okay. See you later. So we need to go find a herbalist to combat sleep. Captain Bernard's main concern is that the men are tired and prone to falling asleep on duty. One of the herbalists could brew up a tonic for them to ward off fatigue and perk them up of, perk them up for battle. Okay, let's go and find this herbalist. So we've got to go all the way down uh, near the Ledechko. Um, okay, fine, let's do that. All right, looks like we are here. At the herbalist. Oh, well, I think we've spoken to it before. Herbalist Kanhuta. Um, have you got a potion that helps people stay awake? The troops are falling asleep on guard duty. Do you have anything to help? There's a recipe I know. I could brew up enough for two or three men with what I have here. No, I need enough for a whole bloody encampment. Actually, for three camps. That much? It would take me a week just to pick the herbs for it. All right. Unless you were to do a bit of the legwork yes, yourself. Yes, we got to pick herbs. 
Yeah, I'll help you. Seems only reasonable since I'm the one who wants it. What do you need? Hmm. Let's hope we got it all. Full of valerian and two of mint, but make sure it's fresh. And a little wormwood wouldn't hurt. Sure. Okay. Have we got all the stuff? Um, I've gathered. Yeah. Okay. I've gathered Excellent. up all we need. Excellent. Excellent. This will probably do the trick. And do you have the wormwood? Here it is. Excellent. Fine, fine. What about the valerian? I'll get started. It's going to take a while. Take care. Excellent. We got it all then. Um, it's going to take a while, so maybe we'll just um, have some of our food, and 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 we'll um, and we'll just we'll wait for 24 hours. Okay, get the brew potion from the herb woman. So we have to wait 24 hours in the end. Hello, dear. Have you brewed it yet? So, is the concoction ready? All done. Here, take the keg. I won't be lugging a heavy great thing like that around myself. Thank you for your help. Well, best of luck, lad. Now, I need a rest. Okay. Take care. All right. So we got the um, we got the keg of potion. Take the potion back to the encampment. Let's do that. I will see you guys at the back of the encampment. Oh, one thing I was going to do, I just remembered actually. So I mentioned about seeing Teresa. So I might just go and see Bernard now and go straight to go and see Teresa. Um, because apparently there's some uh, more text or more optional dialogue. So we'll do that. God be with you. Don't mention my clothes. Uh, this will keep them on their feet. This ought to help with your sleepy soldiers. What's in it? It stinks to hell. Yes, and it's hellish potent too. A drop in the evening and you won't fall asleep till just before noon. Really? I hope it does the job. That it doesn't give them a run in the process. <laughs> give them Hopefully a run. not. But if it does, well, it's hard to sleep with the runs, isn't it? True enough. But you're not much good as a guard when you're squatting in the bushes. Okay, excellent. We've done that. Um, and we've got 650 groschen as well. Let's go and quickly see Teresa and uh, see what she has to say. And we can talk to her about how great we've been and etc, etc. All right, see you there. See you there. All right, here we are back here. Teresa, my darling. Any more dialogue? I've got something for you. I what hope you won't need them, but just in case. Thank you. Three bandits. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I'll come about the water carrying job. What? What? Can you repair my clothes? What's this about? How did things work out with the job I arranged? You did what I asked. That was ages ago. Still, Antonia is a widow now. Not all the coin in the world can help if God doesn't will it. Oh, you could give us 100 groschen. Okay, fine. I thought it was going to be some more dialogue. Obviously not. Okay. That's a shame. Okay. Uh, let's go back and do our next uh, objective. I think we need to uh, speak to the quartermaster or something. So uh, let's go back there. Right, there was a thing up here. Go and watch a, the um, trebuchet test. I might go and have a look at that. So the trebuchet has been finished. Oh, God, there it is there, look. Wicked. Let's go and do that. You didn't take too long to make that. He's good. That is a beast. Okay. Look at that. That's amazing. So how the hell does this work, then? So the, uh, the rocks go on there, do they? Wicked. Okay, let's go and um, talk to Toby Fayfar. What, what are we doing? Go and watch the Trebuchet test, B. Okay. Ooh, this will be good. Or is it gonna fail miserably, first of all? Let's see how strong those walls are. This guy's great. Okay, Kaisar. Is it going to fail? Oh, looking good. <laughs> hey, 
Uh, that was just the first shot. Ah. The trebuchet has to be calibrated. That's perfectly normal. I'll have the range in no time. Ah. I mean, go to plan. <laughs> Move! Move! Damn it! I have to get to Sir Divish! Sir! They're coming! There's no time! Someone bring water! Breathe, man. You'll be alright. Who's coming? There's an army on the way. And they're carrying the colors of Havel Medic, of Valdek. And they're very close. Havel Medic? He's surely not coming to help us. Not that bastard. I have a score to settle with him. I like his bling. The Divish's bling. Gentlemen, Toth's reinforcements are about to descend on us. That swine. How many men? We don't know exactly, but there are many. And they will probably be here by dawn. So soon? How is it that we knew nothing about this before? The whole land is in chaos. It's a wonder we can find out anything at all. If they attack from the rear... We'd be finished. Just as Toth has been planning. The sneaky weasel. He's been one step ahead of us the whole time. Not this time, though. What are you thinking? Robard, how do you think the weather will be tomorrow? Uh, well, sir, uh, if my joints don't deceive me, and they rarely do, it'll rain. Joints? It'll rain buckets. Here. We'll make a stand here, I and Radzig's men. You will wait until they charge us, and then strike them from the rear. Here and here. If we succeed, we'll have it over and done with before they notice anything in Townburg. It might just work. But we'll have to leave someone in the encampments in case they do come out of Talburg. How about me? A few men will be all I need. Well, that depends on whether you can hold out. We don't even know how many there are. We will hold out. I'll give the orders to my men. We will be ready. Hmm. I'm hoping it hasn't skipped all those side quests. Best started... My part in the battle, sir. I, did, I wanted to go with the Scalets, man. I need more than that from you. More, sir? If we can't hold out at the quarry, we're finished. You, I, Hanish, and Radzik. And since Hanish is commanding the flank attack, Radzik is captive and I'm wounded, Captain Robard will be leading on the field. Of course. Who better? There's no question Robard's a good commander. But many of the men will be from Scalitz. We need someone there who knows them and has their respect. Sir? I mean you, Henry. That is... Um, I'm no hero? I'm no hero. Sir, do you really think I'm someone the men could look up to? Henry, if it weren't for you, we wouldn't even be here today. And everyone knows that. Except you, it seems. Very humble of Henry. In the battle, you and a group of Scarlet's men will be concealed in the woods over the road. But sir, I think I should... Quiet! Don't underestimate the task I'm setting you. You'll have to keep nervous men on a short reign and not attack too soon. And then conduct the attack on the rear so fiercely and quickly that the foe has no chance to react. If mm. the line should start to break, we need someone with their head firmly on their shoulders to keep control of the men. Mm. Very well, sir. That's what I like to hear. When you're ready, go and join the Scalots men. They'll be mustering in the woods above the road to retake. Right, okay, so let's like a look at our journal a second, because I don't know whether we've cocked up, because we looked at the trebuchet test, whether it's sort of skipped it. When you're ready, go to the battlegrounds. Okay, so I reckon we could possibly skip that for now, or at least hold it off and carry on with this one, hopefully. So let's go and, um, let's go and do what as we were planned, you know, initially. Let's go and talk to the quartermaster. And hopefully it won't kind of skip to that. Sitting on your arm.
Whilst right. Dice so what I did, I I won't bother sh showing it, but um, I went and carried on doing the um, the quest here. I went to see the quartermaster, and uh, he wanted beer and he wanted meat. So I went and got that, but on the way back to the quartermaster, it said I failed the game or game ended because I didn't go to the battlefield on time or the battleground. So I need to do this first anyway. Uh, so yes, let's do this instead then. Battleground. Okay, let's do that. And we got to go all the way um, right over here. Okay, we'll just ride right there. I'll see you guys. Um, I'll see you guys there then. Okay, looks like we're here. Is this it? Okay, we're here. We are here. Like I said, I hope we can still do those other quests. The side quests on the siege. Easy. Oh shit. Let's just stick down. Oh, we can't move. Oh. Oh. oh my god, there's loads of them. We can't we can't attack those. A little longer. Oh, we've got eight of us, nine of us. Easy, easy. Look at their armor. They were expecting us. First troops to the bridge. Break through. Vanguard to the left. And the rest come with me. We'll flank the bastards. Objective completed. To oh, my goodness me. Charge! Um, uh, we got no chance, surely. Um. <laughs> we got no chance. There's loads of them. Right, that's it. Come on. Oh my goodness me. It's a bit scrappy. Okay, I'm still okay. Okay, and you now, Sonny Jim? You need better armor, son. Oh, he has got good armor on him. Right, come on. Oh, is he dead yet? Right, next guy. I think if we can come up behind. Oh, there's more coming. What's that, man? What's that, man? Excellent. Come on then, Sir Divish. That's it. I love it, mate. <laughs> He's got such good armor on. Okay, he's dead. Any more? I think we got him. I think we got it, guys. I think we won. That's it. We've done it. It wasn't too bad. I thought there was no hope. Okay. Objective completed. Defend the fort. What? There's more? Gotta look at these dead people. Uh, okay, there's only a few there. We'll get we'll get through. That's easy. There's a guy here. Let's get him. <laughs> Don't know. There's a lot of satisfaction from this. Oh, so let's help uh, Hanush. Oh, hang on. Stamina, stamina, stamina. Regen. Come on, Hanush. Get behind him. <laughs> Come on, Hanush. Have you actually thrown your? <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Have you actually thrown your axe yet? Use your axe. Bit of a bit of lag there. What a man is their leader. What? This boy. You should show a little more respect, Divish. You'll need it when you kneel before Istvan. Kill him. Now <laughs> the pup shows his teeth. Hmm. Istvan, you say? Not Sir Istvan, or Lord Toth. Just how intimate are the two of you? I know him. He's Eric, Toth's captain and right-hand man. <sighs> Finally, some good news. Shackle him and guard him closely. Those bastards want to destroy our trebuchet! No, they can't. Let's go and defend the trebuchet. The 
Okay, can we complete the cold steel hot blood? Like, like, right, we have to go and... Uh, family values quest started. Oh my goodness. It's all happening. Come on, lads. I'll race you there. Go quickly and help defend the trebuchet. Okay, we'll do... Do we need that horse? Come on, let's go get a horse. Right, I don't know if we got a top it, but I'll, I'll meet you guys back there then. Look lively, men. Come on. Look lively. Come on, hands. Right, I've took some um, stamina potion as well. Alright. Did I just damage his helmet then? I just said there's a dent on his helmet. I wonder if I'd just done that. I don't know, I might, I might have done. I might, he might have actually had damage. Okay, that's quite cool. Oh, hello. Hang on. <laughs> Goodness me, I got to learn to love Harry Bear. Oh, very good. <laughs> Come on, just attack. Oh, that's it. That's it, it's gone. Can I damage his head? No. Right, let's carry on. Okay. Let's cap on, let's save you cap on. Ah. Ah. I think he's a gone and out. Definitely gone it. Right, who else we got? They're all after you cap on, aren't ah. they? Come on, cap on, whack him on the head, hands. That's it. Good, good show. Right, is that the lot? Ah. Right, he's dead. I think that's a lot of them, isn't it? There's more down here. Come on, hands. Are you here with me? Okay, well, who are they fighting? They're still fighting someone. Oh, sorry. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, hands. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Right, okay, you can stand there, Hans, or you can help me. It's up to you. Well, there's only a few left, so we should clear this off. Let's clear them up quite easily. Um, oh, they're all after me now. I wonder if I can dent their helmet again. So I don't know whether that helmet was just, um, it was already on his helmet, that dent, or I yeah, did it. Oh, I love it, Robard. That was lovely. Sorry, Bernard. Robard. Who's that? <laughs> we got him. Yay, we've done it. Yay. The trebuchet is saved. So the question is, has he, has he fixed it? Well. Or calibrated it? Too so we can shoot. Not just yet. Sir, what are we waiting for? You've heard his threats, Robard. Do you want him to kill Radzik and my wife? We have to consider all our options. And it would be a shame to destroy the castle, too. But how do we get that rat out of there? Sir, I might have a solution. What about exchanging hostages? Ah. Oh. He was the captain at Vranjik, and he brought Istvan's reinforcements here. He seems to be on very, um intimate terms with Toth. He might be able to tell us something. And he might even be as valuable to his lord as Lady Stephanie and my father are to us. <laughs> You're your father's son, by God. You're a godson, lad. You're right. We'll interrogate this whore, son, and then decide what to do next. Come to my tent when you've rested. Okay, join the briefing in the tent. Start talking, or make your peace with God. Do your greetings. Words. What business have you? I won't betray my. Um, I thought we were going to do. How are you, Hanish? I thought we were going to do like a debriefing. How are you, my lord? 
How do you think? That slimy toad has my blood boiling. If I get my hands on him, I'll rip his black heart out. Only I've been handed the job of guarding the western route, and the quarry, and there's not a damn thing happening there. Well, at least you're out of archery range of the castle. True, but it's not much consolation. If the men don't get something to do soon, I'll have to put them to work in the quarry. Idle hands are the devil's tools. Right, okay, so uh, let's just talk to him about... Okay, what do you think of Kaiser? What do you think of Master Kaiser? Uh, he's a foreigner, and quite possibly a madman. Did you hear him talking about those pipes filled with black powder? He knows how to build a trebuchet, though. Well, at least it looks like he knows what he's doing. Well, I'm just glad there's no black powder in these parts. Give it half a chance, he'd blow us all to pieces. <laughs> okay, what do you think about the siege? How do you think the siege will go, sir? Better than it has done so far, I hope. First, we lost your lord and father, and then our nighttime assault failed. I'm sorry we didn't succeed. It would all have been over by now. But at least we got out alive. If the two of you had been left behind, this fan would have had another pair of hostages. Oh, let's pray our fortunes improve. But I'm a bit worried about that trebuchet. I don't have much experience with engines of war. Even if we do drive Toth out, there might not be much left of the castle after we've done it. Okay, I'm worried about Sir Radzik, my Sir father. Hannes, do you think Sir Radzik is all right? Oh, don't worry, he's more used to Toth alive, so he's in no danger for now. For now? Radzig's a man who knows how to take care of himself. I'm more concerned about Lady Stephanie. It would be dreadful if anything happened to her. Okay, thank you. It was a pleasure to talk to you, Sir Hannes. Likewise, Henry. Good luck then. So we were supposed to do... Oh, this is a debrief for now then, I guess. Well now, Eric. It is Eric, isn't it? Looks like the boot's on the other foot this time, doesn't it? Fuck you. All right. You need to change your tone. <laughs> yes. If you start being nice, you might just come out of this alive. So now I'll ask you a few questions, and you'd better think carefully about how you answer them. Right, okay. So who is this Toth? We should beat him on speech. Who is this Toth? He's an orphan, same as me. The Turks killed his parents, so he started killing Turks. Sigismund needed men like that, so Ishtavan ended up in his service. Okay. So we might not win on this. How did you meet him? How did you meet him? What's that got to do with anything? Okay. Uh, we should win on this one. Uh, what are... What are you people after? What is he after? Are you really that clueless? to destroy Wenceslas's allies. You. Okay, so what does he... Who does he work for? Who does he take his orders from? Are you stupid? He works for Sigismund. Okay. Um, how many men has he got in the castle? So we should beat him on this as well. How many men does he have in the castle? How should I know? There were nearly 70 of us at the beginning, but there's probably not even half left. But that's still more than there ever were in that castle. More than enough to defend it. Okay, so we'll exchange you for the hostages. I won't waste more time on you, right? Yeah, we should just kill him, really. Uh, but he's more useful alive. I guess we'll exchange you for the hostages. Listen to me. Toth has hostages in the castle, and we have you. So, how about an exchange? Do you take him for a fool? Do you really think he'd give up the only thing he has that stops you from attacking? He'll never accept an exchange. I might as well kill you then. You better pray he will, for your own sake. Because once we attack, you'll be worthless to us. And what do you suppose will happen to a worthless bandit? Um, okay, so I won't waste any more time on you. I won't waste any more time on you. You could have saved yourself, but apparently you value your master's skin more than your own. I don't need to save myself. Ishtavan will save me. Yes, we'll see, and shall we? kill every last one of you. Why should he save you? He'll sacrifice you, just like everyone in Vranik and Pribislavitz. You're nothing but a common bandit. You don't know anything. He'll come for me, and anyone who lays a finger on me will pay dearly. Now I'm curious. Why would he care that much about you? Could it be your lovers? I thought they realised that. They were insinuating that all along. For a while there, I thought we'd get nothing out of him. 
But in the end, he spilled his guts. I thought you were much too easy on him. But it seems your approach was the right one. Well done, well, lad. Well, well done, lad. Anyway, <laughs> it's clear that young fellow is no ordinary brigand. And he believes Toth cares about him. We'll just have to see if the bastard cares as much about him as Divish does about his wife and you about your father. Okay. Objective completed. Join the briefing in the tent. We've got more money. Well, Divish, I think the time has come to find out just how much Toth values our hostage. Do you want to parley with him yourself? I think I'll leave that to you, Hanush. So be it. I'll do my utmost. Bring the hostage below the battlements. Oh, God. I, I, I feel like we're skipping... I don't know, we, I still got to do the side quest on the route, um, siege. Sir Istvan! What is it? Did our neighbourly visit catch you unprepared? A little. But we've settled in nicely. And this fellow is enjoying our company so much, we simply can't get rid of him. It seems we are in similar situations. Perhaps it's time to send our respective guests home. Not a chance. Do you take me for a fucking fool? Be warned. If anything happens to Eric, I'll let every man jack here have his way with this bitch, and I'll dice Kobila into goulash meat. Nobly spoken, your grace. But for all I know, you may have done that already. I think you can try to go. Divish, I'm sorry. Greetings, friends. <laughs> Fear not, Lord Toth is treating us like royalty. <laughs> They're unharmed, as you can see. But don't try any tricks or they won't be for long, Hanush. It seems your lord doesn't place any great value in you, boy. Go to hell. Oh. I'm sorry. It looks like it's not going to be that easy. No. Well, at least we know they're alive. I didn't expect much of it anyway. He won't harm them as long as we have this fellow. Well, there's a lot of cutscenes, isn't there? On this final well, few friends. hours. Okay. What do you suggest? I'd say we have no choice but to attack. Hmm. It's a great risk, Robard, with Stephanie and Radzig inside. I know how you feel, sir, but Toth is no fool. They are his last safeguard. He will do nothing to harm them until he is sure of victory. Would you be saying that if it were your wife inside? Or your father? Well, let me point out that we have no choice anyway. We don't have enough supplies to keep men here for weeks while gangs of brigands and Sigismund's army roam the countryside. Hmm. Toth won't agree to an exchange, and even if he did, we'd have to let him go. With all his men, he'd be a thorn in our sides till Judgment Day. Sir, a message has arrived. Oh, what is it? Margrave Jobst is approaching with his retinue and wants to speak with you. Jobst, you say? All right. Hmm. What is he that? doing here? Who's Jobst? Jobst of Luxembourg is cousin to King Wenceslaus and Sigismund. He's the Margrave of Moravia. Only a year ago, he was collaborating with Sigismund and the League of Lords. He betrayed King Wenceslas and his ally Prokop. Now, he's changed sides, appointed really? himself the leader of the rebellion against Sigismund, and wants to liberate Wenceslas. Whichever way the wind blows. Mm, do we trust this guy? It seems the decision is made for us. We don't want Jobst camping with us in front of our own castle like a band of gypsies. Hmm. I'm afraid you're right, Hanush. All right. We'll let the men rest a while and then attack. Come to me when everything is ready. Ooh. So hopefully this will give us time then to do that siege. Um, quest completed, family values. So looking at our quest log still, we still have Siege, so we guess get rid of this one, talk to Sir Divish once everything is ready, I think that's like the last thing we do. Uh, we can continue with this then and get this finished with, but I think we'll have to do that on the next episode guys, so I think this this one's gone on long enough. 
So I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Thanks for watching. And I will see you guys on the next episode. Take care. See ya. Standing on your own knees. It's a beautiful world out there. Just don't pass on the dare. If you have the will and a moment to spare. It's a beautiful